It's Pete from Cheap Homesteading. I'm in the woods today, and today we are going to see what really causes a chainsaw to cut crooked. Uh, last week, uh, we set up a test to try and see if we could make uh, a chain cut crooked if I just sharpened it incorrectly. And I sharpened it to the extreme, and it still cut straight. So um, that widely held belief was false. But there has to be a reason why sometimes a chainsaw will cut crooked. So I set up a few tests. I made one bar that uh, acted like it was wore out and I made another bar that the uh, surface was cut uneven. Um, those are the two things in the comments from last week's uh, test um, that they thought might do it. So I set it up and we're gonna give it a try. So let's go. Okay, so now we have the old bar and we gotta make it have a little wear. It's either we run like some sort of a cutting wheel up the center, but I think what's gonna happen is I'm, I'm gonna make some weird spots and it's not gonna be really a true test. Uh, so the best way I can find is I'm gonna put in the vise and I'm gonna try to spread it, but the vise will keep these uh, rivets from actually trying to uh, pop. I gotta make sure that I have them clamped right where those rivets are. You see these little spot welds? That's what holds the core of the bar to the side pieces. And if I was to just spread these without holding it here, you'd end up just popping these. So I want to have the vise clamp just above those rivets. Okay, so what I'm showing you is I am not recommending you do this. Um, you can try it if you want, but it's all on you. Uh, this is not normal to try to make wear in a bar and then go out and try it. So you guys gotta be careful. So okay, I'm gonna finish up the other side. So basically what I did was I got the bar and I spread the tabs on the bar and just to replicate uh, what a war bar would be like because a bar that is really war just has more space than it needs in the bar to hold the chain up straight. So I basically just bent the tabs out a bit. Uh, so I'm going to show you how loose it looks like now. Okay so there you go that really opened it up you can see from here all the way down here that's really really wide okay so this first test is going to be the bar that i spread open the tabs to mimic if the bar was wore out uh, you can see you can see how much that chain moves it's really really wore out um so we're going to try this It is very hard to make a straight cut with that bar. Uh, when a bar gets wore out, uh, it is harder to make a straight cut with it. Uh, so I would say that is true. So now we are gonna try the bar that has the uneven surface. The wear on the top of the bar, most people have seen that. And the reason that happens, I, I believe anyways, is your chainsaw has weight on one side, it has leverage on one side. So if you push down on the one side, 
it's going to want to make the sock can't. And when you're on the top, um, it's going to want to go like this. So on the bottom, it's going to wear here. And on the top, it's going to wear the other side. So we're going to try to replicate that. And we're going to um, file this a little bit crooked either side. Not this exact bar, but the one that's on the saw. Okay, so we got the bar off. This bar is old. And I'm only wrecking one bar. I'm not going to wreck two. So this one here, I can file a little bit crooked. And I can still straighten it out later and not have an issue with it. So we'll still be able to use this bar a little bit later. So we're gonna put this in the vise. Okay, so I'm gonna to try to make it even the whole way around. this was taking way way too long so I'm gonna use uh, just a bent a grinder Okay, so now you want to see that there is, it's lower on this side than it is on that. And we definitely were successful at that. So now we're going to have to flip it and do the exact same angle on that side. So basically, I'm going to, these burrs, we're going to take the burrs off. So we're going to install this back on the saw. So on this one, we're going to have a brand new Husqvarna chain. So there's no doubt that the chain is good. Okay, so we're going to throw this back on. This is the bar that I ground the top off on an angle to imitate a bar naturally wearing. Because the chainsaw has more weight on this side and there's leverage, it t tends to normally wear in a certain way. Um, and a few people and a few people commented that they thought the bar would wear and it would start to cut crooked. So we're going to give this a try. Okay, so that one is definitely harder to uh, cut a straight line with, for sure. Uh, what happens is when you're cutting down into it, when you try to force it to go straight, it stalls out the saw. And then when you just let it sit and cut, it naturally kind of cuts away. Uh, so I'll show you. Okay, so you can see that it starts to cut in and then it bows all the way out again. Uh, so basically when you're cutting, if you try to keep it straight, it stalls because it wants to start cutting out like that. 
it is definitely harder to cut a straight line when the bar is wore out and the top of the bar is uneven like it's on an angle. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw on a dull chain on that bar that is cut on an angle and we're going to see what happens. So now we got a bar that's wore and we have a bar that is crooked. Uh, so I put a brand new chain on the bar that's crooked and we're going to swap them back and forth and see if any combination of these really do cause it to cut crooked. Um, there is one thing that I've thought of that I kind of have an idea that is part of the problem is and it does have to do with the chain but my guess is that your chain is getting dull really dull it's barely cutting you're forcing harder on the saw the bar is wore and possibly wore on an angle and with the combination of everything I think it might actually cut crooked um, so what I want to do is cause this chain to be sharpened enough that it'll actually um, the rakers are pretty well stopping it from cutting so it'll just cut a bit enough to start going through the wood but it won't actually cut fast enough to allow it to exit quick enough that it doesn't chew in to the uh, wood at the top of the cut that is what I think is happening so we're gonna start sharpening this uh, probably run it through a few times I want to replicate someone that's sharpened the chain, sharpened it, sharpened it, sharpened it, and it hasn't cut down the rakers. Um, so it'll just cut a little bit, but barely cut at all. Because I can swap it in and out of those bars, and we're going to see which combination is the worst. Okay, let's see how. Oh, she's barely touching. Oh, that'll be great. That will be epic. Okay, I'll show you. Okay, so when I have it on this tip and that tip, there is barely any space above that raker. So that is gonna cut absolutely awful for sure. Okay, so I tried it a few different ways and you can tell uh, if the bar is wore out, it's hard to cut straight. If the uh, top of it is crooked, it's hard to cut straight because when you're cutting, the cutters want to cut flat, both sides of your teeth, and you're constantly trying to bring it straight, it kind of stalls out the saw because it can't cut on that one cutter when you start making it on an angle. So it tends to naturally allow it to sit where it cuts and then it cuts on an angle. It's hard to show you, but I think you can see it there that it's cut on an angle. I couldn't stop it from cutting on an angle. And I think the duller the chain is, the worse it is, but it all starts from the bar. Basically it comes down to, does a worn chainsaw bar make your chainsaw cut crooked? And it is true, it does. Um, I think it all starts from the bar. So if you have a wore out bar, and you have a dull chain, it's worse than if you have a war of bar and a sharp chain. And if you have a bar that has an angle to the top rail um, and you have a dull chain on it, it's worse than if you have a sharp chain on it. Um, so it's not the chain so much as it's the bar. Um, so um, you gotta make sure you dress your bars and if it's wore out, you just gotta get a new one. So 
that is all for today. So you guys have a good one.